Alrighty, so in this video we are going to talk about the f put as function. And this function works similarly to the put as function. Uh, and just to remind you uh, that in the strings section, usually we talk about uh, the put as function that works like this. Okay, so let's get it right here. Let's say put as, put as and mm -hmm, basically get some string and put it to the screen. In this case, let's go like, I don't know, hey man, <laughs> and put another string like, uh, this is, this is Vlad from Alpha Tech. I don't know, something like this. <laughs> okay, guys. So now let's see what will happen if we run these two lines of code. So let's basically comment these lines out that they will not interfere with our code, with our with our code. Let's build and run it and see what will happen. So, hey man, this is Vlad from AlphaTech. So, we got these two strings and we put them to our console application. Okay? So, the putis function was used to write strings to the screen. And similarly, the fputes function that we are talking about right now will, you, will do pretty much the same. Instead of writing the strings to the console application, to the screen, it will write them to some file. And that's the, the explanation for additional prefix that we have here, this F, okay, this letter F used to specify, we will put a string, okay, this F put S, we will put a string to some file, okay? And the syntax will look like this. We will specify the string, right, just like here, and a pointer to the file where we want to redirect this information, okay? So, once again, we provide a string as the first argument to the function, simply specifying what string we want to write to the file, and as the second argument, we specify the pointer to the relevant file after it has been opened, right, like previously. Um, so it clear so far? Any questions? Good. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the FAQ. Nothing difficult at all, actually. Uh, simply as we've used put s when working with strings, we will do the same with the f put s function. So let's see how it will look like. So let's take it f put s, f put s, and here we will use fp, and also here we will use fp. Okay. So let's basically just copy it to the relevant place and this part will be on comment. I just want to show you what will happen. So there you go, there you go. Okay, so hi man, this is Vlad from AlphaTech. And previously we had, we had something like this. Okay, it was like a put s, put s and without specifying the pointer to the file. Okay, awesome. So. Why I used both of them is because I want to show you something. What's going on? What's happening? What is happening? Let me see. Ah, uh, never mind. That was just some small problem. My computer probably got <laughs> tired by now. So let's open up this uh, folder of the project and see what it has. Let me go like here and my first file for. There we go. Hey man, this is Vlad from AlphaTech. And the question is, why aren't they similar? So, hey man, this is Vlad from AlphaTech in a new line, and here everything is basically seems like just in one line, okay? So, why is that? Why is that? Let me explain to you. So, simply saying, the f put s function does not add a backslash end by default, okay? It doesn't add a backslash end by default at the end of the string, as opposed to how it's being done using the put s function. So here by default, whenever we use the put s function, and then we use the put s function once again, we can see that there is probably a backslash n operation, backslash n character being added to the console application that indicates that we will use a new line. And that's not something that we can see uh, when we are using the f put s function, okay? Just remember that every time that you need to jump to the next line, it will not be done by default 
and you will have to specify it explicitly. So for example, here we will specify backslash n and now if we will run it once again, we will see that this does not interest me, but I'm interested in the file itself that has been created here. So let's see. And there you go. Hey man, this is Vlad from Alpha Tech. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Pay close attention to the differences between even the subtle things and keep on practicing, keep on moving forward and you are bound to succeed. I'll see you next time. Thank you.